Well, baseball, everybody comes in on a level playing field. I don't care if you are a returning senior or all-conference type player. I mean, the, the slate kind of is wiped clean, and you have to come in and prove, prove yourself. And, you know, if you're an incoming, you know, freshman or a transfer for the first time, I mean, I want those guys to know that every position is available, and, you know, I'm not going to play favorites to anyone, and, you know, there's going to be a big battle to see who can come out on the other side. Can a guy come in in the fall and win a spot for the spring? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, as I said, probably the biggest thing that I have to stress to our players is that just because you played last year or you were a key contributor doesn't mean that you have that spot wrapped up. Um, now, a lot more goes into it than just having a good fall, but clearly you can you know, make strides and separate yourself from others by having a good fall. But you also have to take into consideration, uh, you know, kind of phase two of where we are, which is strength and conditioning, and then our individual groups that we get to deal with as coaches. And, you know, grades play into those factors, and, you know, you're just doing the right thing. So just because the fall season ends, in the middle of October doesn't mean that you've got this thing wrapped up until Christmas break. I mean, you still have another six weeks that you have to continue to improve and show that you have earned this position. Well, I really like our pitching staff, just in general. I think those guys were young last year and at times took their lumps, but I think they really grew as a group and hopefully I feel confident that we're going to emerge on the other side stronger and better as a pitching staff and the guys that um, you know were, were pitching last year with not much experience and um, you know maybe didn't have the success that they wanted I really think that they're turning the corner right now and going to be better for us and they have that game experience from last year that's really going to help us out but to name some individuals, I think Cody Downing has really stepped up and is trying hard to be a good leader for our team. I think David Collins is doing that. I think Drew Matrician is doing that. So, you know, we've got a core of pitchers that some are more vocal than others, but regardless if they're vocal or not, they are all working hard and pushing each other hard and holding each other accountable. From the position player side, you know, I would say Brian Razin, uh, even though he's a sophomore, he's really, he's playing well, he's playing steady. You know, I'm, I'm not saying that he's playing head and shoulders above others, but he's playing very steady. But he's also trying to take on more of a leadership role at a young age and I'm proud of him for doing that. But in the middle of the lineup you had some trouble getting big hits when you needed them. Have you seen any signs of that turning around a little bit? Well, you know, I'm hopeful. Um, again, I think it just comes, I'm being optimistic that it's going to come back to just another year under our belt. We did have a young club last year. They're more experienced. They have a better understanding of what they have to do to compete. Um, you know, some guys are going to have to step up that just haven't in the past. And there's no getting around that. We're, our recruiting's over, and we have what we have. So guys are going to have to step up. And I see some guys being capable of that. A few guys that I felt like had down years, I think, can have better years. In fact, I, mean, I know they can. Clark O'Dowd can have a better year. Tom Herrera can have a better year. As I said, Brian Rosen is an emerging leader, and I think he's just going to be a steady ball player for us. Sam Mormon had a very nice fall for us. And when you look statistically at what Sam did in the fall, I mean, he was probably our most productive hitter up and down, you know, from A to Z. And uh, whether it was getting on base or driving in a crucial run, so whatever it took, it seemed like Sam Mormon was the guy that was producing. So. You know, Sam hasn't been somebody that's been there consistently in the past, but I think someone like Sam or some of these other guys that didn't have great years last year are going to step up for us. Yeah, well, we will we'll start practice 
uh, January 23rd, I believe, is you know the first day that of classes, and we'll put our team through some competition and uh, kind of get us geared up, ready to go, and then kind of depending on the weather, we'll will play a big factor in whether we're going to be outside for practice or inside for practice or hopefully a combination of both. But we'll really have about 30 days to get our team ready after Christmas break to play. And our first game will be um, the last weekend in February. And we'll travel down to Oklahoma and play Cameron University. Well, hopefully something that is going to look a little different than last year will be the way our schedule falls. We've taken away some of our uh, four game series and turned those into three game series which will allow us to play many more weekday games and which I think is that's more baseball to me. Uh, you know you look around at the good teams in the country, doesn't matter what level, that's what they're doing. They're playing a weekend series, but they're also allowing a midweek game to continue to grow and develop some of their younger players or their bullpen or pitchers that aren't getting to play all the time. So, you know, that's a huge developmental key for me is to have a midweek game. And I feel like we've positioned ourselves to play many more midweek games this year, and I'm excited about that.